Hey guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another mukbang. Today we are going to be eating some Mexican food. We are going to be eating some Mexican street tacos. But before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications because you know, they'll really, really, really help me out. Now let's get started with what we're eating today before we begin eating. So for here we have our some apastor tacos, then we have some carne asada tacos, we have some pollo chica tacos, and we also have some pork carnita tacos. Oof. I am so excited because, you know, I've been craving for some Mexican street tacos for a while now. And yeah, you know, today actually I wanted to get some birria tacos. And we went to the place and we we're going to order birria tacos, but they actually ran out of birria. And they're like, oh, look, we'll have more in 30 minutes. But I didn't want to wait 30 more minutes. So we just got a bunch of street tacos instead. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try the first one, Al Pastor. I love Al Pastor. Give it a little bit of this green sauce. If I had to be honest, the Alpa store is actually um, pretty hard and dry. That's why I was chewing for so long. Mm. I love eating the radish after I each bite of a taco. It's so good. Let's try the carne asada. Squeeze more lemon on everything. Carne asada was pretty good. I like it a lot better than the Alpa store. And now let's get some pollo. I love lime so much. Sometimes um, <laughs> I go a little bit overboard with the lime, but I don't know. I just, I really love the taste of citrus. It's the pollo. 
video. Oil is not bad. It's pretty good. I like it better than the <laughs> Alpa store. I like all these better than the Alpa store. <laughs> okay, now this is the carnitas. Carnitas is not bad either. Ooh, this hot sauce is pretty spicy though. I can't tell which one's the spicy one. Maybe it's the red one. Mm. But in order, I think I will like the carne asada the best. Then it would be the carnitas, then the pollo, and then the al pastor. So with that being said, let's eat another carne asada.
spicy hot sauce. Let's take a water break, guys. <laughs> Oh, I have some good news for you guys also. So this morning I called the vet. Um, we've been having to get Katsu with a fecal examination like every few weeks after she finished her medicine. I don't know if you guys recall, but in my previous mukbangs, I told you guys that Katsu, she has like a parasite in her stomach and she's had that ever since we picked her up from the breeder. Uh, it's called Giardia. And we've had her fecal tested four times now. So she's been on three rounds of treatment and today I finally found out that she is negative. So I am so, so, so relieved, so happy and I'm just so delighted that she no longer has Giardia and we don't need to give her any more antibiotics and it's been such a pain. Like if you have ever had a dog or a puppy who has had Giardia, you will definitely understand that it is a pain in the butt to get rid of because like what giardia is it's a parasite that um it's it's in the dog's stomach and it can be transmitted through fecal matter or like if you drink like contaminated water and stuff so every time she uses the bathroom i have to clean the entire area spray it down with soap and also have to like wash her butt and her paws and yeah it's been it's been crazy we wash her toys like every day anyways good news is it's finally gone and I'm so happy. I'm so glad. And in a few weeks from now, she'll be getting her final uh, vaccination shot. So that means that we can actually take her out walking around. We can take her hiking. So it's going to be really exciting. And um, hopefully I can like get started with Katsu's YouTube channel again. I know I've been like really slacking on that. There's just been so much going on in my life. But I'm looking forward to recording more videos of her and activities that we do together. So yeah, that's that's a little update on Katsu. Oh, okay, let's eat the Poyo taco now. I actually have one more hot sauce down here. I think the red one is uh, more spicy. I kind of like I kind of like the green one more just because it has more lime flavor, but. They didn't give me much of the green sauce. Hey guys, that is it for today's mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this Mexican food mukbang, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Overall consensus, uh, everything was pretty, pretty good. I've definitely had much better tacos. <laughs> uh, my favorite today was the carne asada taco. And I guess the carnitas, everything was like pretty uh, mediocre, but I gotta be honest with you guys, the al pastor was, it, it, yeah, no, it does not taste like al pastor taco at all. Um, I've been to Mexico City and I've had really good al pastor taco there. 
this does not taste like it so I'm pretty disappointed with that but do not worry I still will eat this later as a midnight snack first I'm gonna see if my boyfriend might want this he got the, his own taco order uh, but you know if he likes at the store I can give it to him if, if he doesn't want it then I'll just eat it later for a midnight snack but thank you so 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 much for watching and let's grab Katsu really quickly to say bye bye Katsu says bye bye thanks for watching <laughs> oh <laughs> She's like licking her lips, looking at the food. Girl, you can't eat this. There's onions in here. There's seasoning on the meat. I'm sorry, baby. I just fed her. I always feed her before I film. Oh, oh, no, you can't eat it, girl. Mmm. Are you happy that you no longer have a Giardia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.